Warning. Bring it on. If you didn't make it to the tryouts at the Rumble at the Racetrack, then this is what you missed. Folks, we're in the back room at the uh, Combat Club right now. We're looking at the guys, uh, having a first look at them uh, for the tryouts for Rumble at the Racetrack. We're going to see their uh, conditioning, their cardio right now, put them through their paces just to see who's actually ready. Thomas Apelaw, local boy here. Thomas, Good welcome. Morning. You remember here at uh, Combat Club? Oh yeah, man, I'm an OG, I'm an original. An combat. original Combat Club member. So, uh, previous fight experience? Well, I've been fighting up at Plush for a while, you know, back in 07, right when I turned 18. How many alligators do you think he's trapped in his lifetime? A couple billion. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Yep. For sure. So, Les, how do you think it's going? It's going good. This is where you're going to shine? Yep. What are you going to do? Take him down? I'm going to take him down, do whatever I got to do. I haven't ever been training too hard. I can ask him. I get that say. What do you like to do? Mm, train. Man who likes to train. So your life's all about training and fighting? Pretty much. Excellent. No party and none of that kind of crazy stuff? No. A very dedicated man. Sean White, veteran of the MMA. Welcome. Thank you. Joe, so uh, what's your uh, local team, your local gym? Combat club. Combat club. And uh, do you have a preferred style of fighting? Uh, it doesn't matter. I like to stand up. Like to stand up and hopefully knock them down, right? Yeah, that's right. Got some dynamite in those hands? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I like that. A modest man. You remember here, Combat Club, and uh, yes, you're going to be fighting, I hope, at the Rumble at the Racetrack? Yeah, 145. 145. Excellent. So what prior experience do you have? Um, I wrestled at high school. And where was high school? Dana Point, California. Dana Point, California. This guy's all the way from the OC, ladies and gentlemen. What brings you to St. Augustine, Florida? Um, just go to school out here at Flagler College. Flagler College student. And uh, Dana, when you're not in the ring, sorry, John, <laughs> when you're not in the ring, what is it you like to be doing? Um, like to go to Dunes. Like to go to Dunes? Yep. That would be Dunes Cracker? Yep. All right, so when he's not fighting, he likes to drink, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies, get a good look at this pretty face. What do you like to do, sir? I go to Flagler, so I'm usually doing homework and uh, Arts and stuff like that. Homework in the arts. Yeah. Mixed martial arts by day, no. arts yeah. by night, or the other way around? Yeah, kind of like that. Very interesting MMA fighter here. Nipples pierced, uh, toes painted. This man is big, sexy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you work here with the gym? You train here at the gym, Zach? Yeah, I train up here and I train at Dead Game in uh, Jacksonville. Excellent. Yep. And uh, so, what are you doing when you're not uh, in the ring? <laughs> uh, I work a lot and I like to lift weights and eat and drink. Man who likes to work a lot, eat and drink, you gotta love that. So what do you do uh, for your real job when you're not beating people up in the ring? Actually, I uh, work in a kitchen, so I make food and then I can eat it. Does so the kitchen have an, an actual name? Yeah, it's called the Pizza Garden. Pizza Garden, ladies and gentlemen. Pizza Garden, good pizza. You affiliated with any uh, team or gym here in the yeah, area? Yeah, I'm at the Combat Club right now with John. Just training with him. Training with John. Uh, any prior mixed martial arts experience? Um, I trained as in jitsu for a while, you know, for about a year, uh, boxing, wrestling, everything. Zen jitsu, that was Jake Good's uh, yeah. club? Yes. All right. And uh, reason for wanting to do this, reason for wanting to do the rumble at the racetrack? Uh, just the competition, love fighting, love everything about it. Just like Excellent. Company. And when you're not in the ring, what uh, do you like to do? Work a lot, uh, go to school, uh, massage therapist. Massage therapist. A little weird, but... Nothing weird about that. Ladies and gentlemen, you get banged up, come see this guy. What do you do when you're not fighting? I spend a lot of time with my daughters. I have twin girls and I bought a boy that's about a year old. And uh, Twin girls keep fishing. you busy. Yeah, they keep you in shape. Pride in New Jersey and currently working at Finnegan's Wake, so we all like that. Chris, any prior experience before coming here today? Um, yeah, I trained in Jersey under Brad at a fight camp just for a short time. And uh, your preferred discipline? I like to wrestle. Likes to wrestle. Do you wrestle in high school? Yep. Excellent. And when you're not in the ring, 
What do you like to do? I like to surf, hang out with my friends, go to dunes. Welcome to Trauma Television's coverage of Rumble at the Racetrack 1. I'm Josh Rutgers. And I'm AJ Big Scary Cox. And of course, I'm Lorenzo Thomas here in St. Augustine at St. Augustine Speedway. As much as I'd like for this show to be about us, it's not. It's about these two gentlemen walking into the ring right now. Um, Big Scary's probably going to try to steal a lot of the spotlight, so we're going to try the best we can, Lorenzo, to not to let that happen during this broadcast. The guy up there taking the shirt off now is Chris Gorys, training uh, out of my gym here in Jacksonville, Dead Game Fight School. You might remember his corner man, uh, Lorenzo, John Baldry. He's now a pro fighter. Uh, All right. Been on our shows off and on for years. His opponent there being Dean Kraft. What do we know about Dean Kraft? He's a catch wrestler, I believe. Um, he's about 40 years old, I think. <laughs> well, I don't know that he's quite 40. I'll leave it to you to really make, make bad worse. You know? uh, right out the gate, both men uh, appear to want to wrestle, definitely. Both of them have strong wrestling backgrounds, um, different disciplines of wrestling. Oh, Ooh, yeah, this is him. real MMA, folks. This isn't uh, what you're used to seeing on our show. Not for the faint of heart. No, not at all. And uh, both these guys are definitely in there looking to uh, secure a victory for the first fight here. Um, first ever MMA event in St. Augustine taking place. Uh, pretty much first ever MMA event in North Florida since it's uh, been legal. Amateur, that is, you know. Right. Um, it's like Chris... Uh, Successfully stops the takedown, sprawls, got a uh, top position, seems to be working a hand in there, try to uh, maybe secure a front headlock or a choke, but uh, Dean Kraft, as to his name, is crafty, and has gotten back out, stands back up, looks for the shot again, and once again, he's stuffed again. He's showing that takedown defense, and maybe he's going to pull guard and go for a guillotine. Yeah, I don't know so much about uh, Chris pulling guard. He's uh, more of a wrestling-based guy than a jiu-jitsu. I mean, both these guys, neither one of them is really probably going to be very comfortable in the back, to be honest with you. Um, Chris is definitely looking to get his hands off. The Dean wants no part of it. And there is, you know, like clockwork, as I said, does not want to be on his back. would rather be in a referee position or a sprawl or right where they are than on his back. Definitely not wasting any time or energy either. Mm, no. Chris, Chris showing that takedown defense time and time again. Yeah. Referee Eric Skates in there on the action. Uh, experienced referee for our, our shows. This actually marks our 29th event, if you can believe that, Lorenzo. If you think back to when, uh, wow. you know, first started in the warehouse over off St. Augustine Road and uh, yeah. to, to here, you know, we've got uh, over 700 in attendance here at uh, the San Augustine Speedway, where this event took place. And uh, looks like uh, Dean has successfully put it on his back, much to Chris's hmm. surprise. Got that side control. Chris looking to get a knee in to try to achieve a guard position. Dean having nothing letting it happen at all. Maintains back to his side now. Eric Skates intently watching. I say this is different from the submission grappling we've seen in the past, but so far there seems to be a lot of grappling. But yeah, yeah. I guess it depends on the two individuals that are in there and the you know the flow of the of the fight. But uh, both these guys, as we said before, uh, you know, not 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 as much first in striking arts as uh, they're both a lot more comfortable on the mat. So yeah, that, I think that would be the best thing for uh, actually both of them. I would say Dean. Dean's got more submission uh, wrestling experience than Chris does. Uh, Chris's uh, competition history before this is limited to high school wrestling, uh, whereas Dean has wrestled a number of, uh, of our amateur events. Now they're going to the second round, and uh, we'll look to see what happens. Ooh. The first round was pretty even. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. So they come out swinging. Yeah, no doubt. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a battle royal situation.